Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and today was the first bit of news for WWE 2K24 has dropped and we can officially get ready for a new year in the WWE 2K franchise. So today we're just going to kind of talk about the news that was released as well as maybe what that holds here on this side of things because as some of you may know I ran a universe mode series over here for two years on the channel been doing sports for quite a while but I've always enjoyed the wrestling content so I want to share this with you guys today if you're excited for this one as well as maybe future wrestling content and coverage make sure you drop that like and you subscribe down below and you might see more of that but today WWE 2K has been teasing for quite some time that January 22nd would be the day that we get some news and they also dropped a couple of teasers and it was confirmed today that Cody Rhodes will be the cover athlete for the cover superstar that is for the standard version of WWE 2K24. What we also found out was that Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley are also going to be on the cover. They got the deluxe edition cover which is pretty awesome i think all three of these superstars deserve it you know cody really is the face of wwe at this point and i think belair and ripley are two of the more well-known women's superstars in the wwe and i'm actually very happy they went with belair and ripley and not you know the usual four horsewomen that they've currently advertised i think belair and ripley have more than earned this opportunity and i'm so happy for them but I thought maybe we'd just be getting the cover star news, but we actually got a lot more details, so let's jump right into what's been revealed so far. I'm getting this right off of Sports Gamers Online's article they typed up today, so I will leave that in the description down below if you want to read it. But we got the three cover stars, and then we're also going to get some new match types. They added a couple of new match types, some of these returning in some way, shape, or form. But they have special guest referees back, which is always a plus. The ambulance match has been added, which is something that I think will be a lot interesting to have in the series. There's always the casket match returning. We've had Buried Alive in the past as well, so it kind of is a little bit of that take. As well as the gauntlet match, which has kind of been a thing for WWE in recent years. These gauntlet style of matches, so I'm glad that that is kind of added into the new thing. As well as you can now have four players in the backstage brawl area, as well as now do super finishers and a trading blows mini game. So a lot of cool things there. The other big thing they advertised, not only was it they cover superstars, but this whole 40 years of WrestleMania. They have a whole edition based off it, which has a lot of the legends on the cover, like The Rock, Undertaker, Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold Steve Austin, the people you associate with WrestleMania. And it's, I think this is a great idea, obviously, because this is going to be the 40th edition of WrestleMania and this game comes out about a month before WrestleMania 40 and I mean nothing says WWE more than WrestleMania is the most iconic brand that the WWE offers and just taking a look through history is always so much fun and just seeing those historic matches unfold the other thing is cool is when they have a historic mode like this there's so many opportunities for legends that can be involved we saw it back in WWE 2K14, when they had the 30 years of WrestleMania, we saw stars like Goldberg return to the game. You know, Brock Lesnar was in there, Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, all those big guys who have now just kind of become a staple of the series were kind of introduced through this WrestleMania kind of history take. So I'm interested to see who they pull. You know, I saw Bret Hart was in there, Shawn Michaels is obviously going to be in there, some of those staples, but you got to think that there maybe is a few additions to the roster that could be people who we haven't seen in quite some time so i'm excited to see that uh obviously we won't see edge probably back just because of where he's at now but just all things aside which is pretty cool so that kind of covers most of the news today we got the additions you can see the additions also in the article the standard version is 60 dollars. that's the one you usually come with if you do pre-order it you get a nightmare family pack so you get two versions of cody rhodes the um undashing version as well as stardust and as well as you get the superstar billy graham and dusty Rhodes characters and then if you get the digital edition or if you get the deluxe edition you get you know the season pass which is usually the one that i go for i like to get the deluxe edition i like to have all the dlcs already ready to go and in the 40 years of wrestlemania you get a lot of new attires which kind of confirms superstars like macho man randy savage is going to be in there as well so a lot of good information came out today um as far as what I like to do, I've really missed my WWE 2K Universe Mode series. I I've loved the sports content, but I there's just a level of creativity that I can do 
with WWE 2K that I can't do with the sports. I can create all the storylines and stuff like that. So I have always missed that part of me. It's always been there. So if you'd like to see wrestling content return back in some form, I have some ideas, but I don't want to spoil anything if that's what you'd like to see. Please let me know in the comments section. Please let me know on this video, and we can potentially set that up in the future. But I'm excited for the series. Regardless of if we do something for it or not, I will probably um, be getting it in some sort, I would say. But that's it for today. I'm assuming the news will start to follow in the coming weeks, and maybe we'll cover that as well. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you drop a like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more content, wrestling content here on the channel. But this is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you in the next one.